Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, uh, Philippines, and just wanted to give you a quick missionary update on what's going on here in the Philippines. And uh, this past week, we had a total of 215 salvations between our ministries um, here in the Philippines. And so it was a good week overall. We did have a soul winning marathon on Saturday. Uh, we have all day soul winning every Saturday um, near our church, um, but this Saturday, this past Saturday specifically, it was Labor Day. And so what better way to celebrate Labor Day than laboring with the gospel of Jesus Christ? And so we had a big success there, 79 salvations at our soul winning marathon, and a lot of salvations um, during the week and at other soul winning times and everything. So it was really good with salvations. And uh, just giving you a quick recap on the sermons preached, um, Brother Chris preached on Wednesday in Manila. Um, my family and I, we've already moved to Pampanga, so we're coming up every Sunday. But the midweek service in Manila is going to be kind of a rotating schedule of uh, preachers. And uh, in Pampanga, we're going to end up starting a midweek service here sometime, and um, you know I'll be preaching that. But the midweek service in Manila, you know, uh, Brother Chris preached it, and he did a great job, and he talked about how to respond to uh, hard preaching. And so that's obviously an important topic when you're a part of a church that does preach hard. And so on Sunday, on Saturday and Sunday, my sermons I preached, I preached on the false philosophy series. I continued that up with atheism and the idea of no rules. And uh, one distinction I made during the sermon, which I think is important, because I've always believed in God. I've never questioned the existence of God. I personally never believed in evolution or the Big Bang Theory. But, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of atheists in this world. Now, I don't believe every atheist is a bad person. You know, we have communist China uh, pretty near to us, and there's a lot of people that are atheists in China because of these philosophical systems like Taoism and Buddhism and uh, Conf Confucianism. And so there's a lot of people that are atheists, but I don't believe that, that most people in China are just bad people or whatever. I don't believe most people in these European countries that are very atheistic are bad people. So we need to understand there's a distinction between kind of two types of atheists. And one type of atheist are those who maybe have been lied to in school, they've heard false things, and they, they maybe have heard the truth of God's word, and what happens is they don't believe it, but they don't hold it un, in unrighteousness. The Bible speaks about in Romans 1 of people that hold the truth in unrighteousness. So, so speaking of people that hear a law of God, they hear something in the Bible, they not only disagree with it, but they hate it, and they say it's unrighteous. And so I do believe, though, that there are definitely a large percentage of atheists, lots of atheists, that do hold the truth in unrighteousness, and they deny the existence of God because they hate the God of the Bible. But there's also a lot of atheists who are just part of a false religion. They've been lied to, and they've been confused, and they were born with a belief in God, but at some point they started to doubt, and they were brainwashed with evolution, the Big Bang Theory, maybe false churches they were a part of, those are people we can reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ. But those that hold the truth in unrighteousness, well, they're on that downward progression of being a reprobate and becoming a wicked person. So we need to make a distinction between these people because I know people that used to be atheists. That doesn't mean that they're a wicked person, but there are the Richard Dawkins of the world and the Stephen Hawkings who hold the truth in unrighteousness, and they're just bad people. And they're filled full of foolishness, although they proclaim to be so intelligent. So that was a really long sermon I preached. Obviously, that's a pretty um, in-depth topic. And um, obviously, as Bible-believing Christians, the, the um, kind of the thing we can take away from a sermon like that is that, well, we do believe in a God that has rules. And although we have eternal life as saved people and we cannot lose our salvation, in this life, he will judge his people. So we need to make sure we obey those rules. And um, anyways... I preached that on false philosophies, and then I preached the, the rest of Romans 15. I talked about how to, how to treat a missionary, which I explained was not really in regards to me because I'm kind of stationed here in the Philippines, but in terms of if we had a godly pastor that would visit our church, someone we respect, to treat them well and just kind of explain what it talks about at the end of Romans chapter 15. And so those were the sermons preached this week and just kind of an exciting upcoming announcement or a couple different announcements. Um, obviously, we have Mother's Day coming up. So we've got, um, you know, two tea parties that we're going to be having this Tuesday. We're going to have our, um, you know, ladies tea party here in Pampanga and we're going to be having it at our house here. We're going to be hosting it. And then, um, you know, on Sunday, we're going to have the ladies tea party for VBC Manila in uh, Manila. So we're going to be having that during the soul winning time. And so we're going to be having the ladies tea party. That's an exciting event for ladies. They always have a great time at that. This is going to be the first time we've had it, but you know, at Verity Baptist, they do that. And it's always a, a great event and things and, and 
everything there. All the ladies always love those things. So as men, we got to think of an activity. Maybe we'll do crocodile hunting or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. But the other thing I wanted to announce just kind of ahead of time, because we do have a soul winning marathon, not this week, but the week after, on Thursday, the, the Idol Fitar holiday. It's a Muslim holiday celebrating the end of Ramadan. And I personally am very excited for the end of Ramadan, so I want to celebrate by going soul winning. So we're going to have a soul winning marathon, and uh, we're going to have that in Manila. We're going to have soul winning also here in Pampanga. And so, but also they're going to be doing soul winning in Bicol. And so obviously that's a really long distance from our church. It's like a 12 hour drive maybe. So I'm not going to be able to attend, and obviously there's restrictions and everything, but I think that they're going to be doing it um, on the Idol Fitar uh, holiday. It's kind of last second notice. But then on Independence Day in June, which is a Saturday, because um, you know they had a good group of soul winners in Beacol, and so I want to try to encourage more people to go soul winning in Beacol because there's a good group there, and kind of the start of a church is always kind of just regular soul winning taking place. And so we're going to be hosting a soul winning marathon in June on Independence Day. And so as Bible-believing Christians, when you believe on Jesus Christ, you've entered into freedom. There's liberty in Christ. You have eternal life. You never have to doubt your salvation. And you know what? What better way to celebrate Independence Day by helping make other people free, by explaining the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's gonna be a Saturday. And I know it's the brutal part of the year with the heat and there's more likelihood of rain and everything. So it's kind of bad timing. The best time for soul winnings toward the beginning of the year. But if you're in Beacle or near Beacle, please get in contact with me. I can get you in contact with the people that are there, that are the boots on the ground. We'll have uh, lunch provided for you. We'll have food provided and you can go soul winning. If you're a silent partner, just show up and you know what, you can go. There's plenty of trained soul winners there and everything. And so look, they did a great job during the soul winning mega marathon in Beacle. And we wanna to try to encourage more people to uh, go soul winning there. So we're excited to be hosting that event in June on Independence Day. It is a Saturday. So if you're interested in coming, then just please message me and uh, let me know. And uh, anyways, those are the updates here. And so just continue to be in prayer for our church and things are going pretty well overall. And uh, anyways, thank you and God bless.